Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today's replay is from Freaker and he is in the Mutsu, the tier 6 Japanese premium battleship. He is on the map Shards in a 3 point domination game mode and it's basically one of the worst matchmakings you can find. It's a tier 8 battle and there is a carrier around. Carrier is only tier 7 and there aren't that many destroyers so I guess a few not so catastrophic points. Now the Mutsu has barely no anti-air, which means a carrier is bad news. And there we can see planes incoming, but the friendly carrier is in position, friendly planes are here to intercept and also there are some friendly cruisers nearby. So it's not looking too bad in that regard. Now I've made a first impressions video on the Mutsu, but since she is now in the shop I thought let's feature her in a replay. And here is the enemy strike inbound. But it's mostly just dive bombers. The dive bombers aren't that bad. And let's hope that this torpedo bomber squadron gets intercepted. Now he's opening up here on the Benson, but I'm afraid the Benson will move out of the way. This was the only target he can shoot. Why not? And yes, there is a Pensacola incoming. There are the fighters. There is an Atlanta. Those torpedo bombers. We are just annihilated. Now meanwhile the friendly team managed to take over Point Alpha. That's nice. Looks like the enemy is taking the center. The friendly team has a destroyer they are delaying but with no support the destroyer will probably be forced to retreat. And well here at Point Charlie the enemy destroyer is capping. But there are quite a few friendly forces arriving. Unfortunately, the friendly destroyer is still a bit far away to interrupt that cap. But even if the enemies take it, if they can't hold it, it's not a big deal. Now the Mutsu is a bit fragile for a battleship. You do have a lot of hit points, but not so great armor. The best feature of this ship are truly the guns. You don't have that many of them, considering that like the Arizona or a New Mexico or a Fuso have just more. But you do have rather big guns and that North Carolina will soon feel that, hopefully. And those are some decent hits. Our Freaker is continuing towards the cap and there is some friendly smoke in front of him which he can use. Oh, we can also see some cruisers. Uh, the cruisers... You don't really want to go on the outside. Those corners are pretty much... Well, a place where you never want to be. There is no real reason to ever be in a corner. If you want to fight for that point, you want to stay somewhere where you can help. My, you can use some of the islands as cover, but you want to stay in a position where you can support the point. Now it looks like that there are some more battleships coming this way. Friendly team might get pushed out of point alpha and the center is still uncapped, but I think it Oh, no, the enemy destroyer left the center for whatever reason. Afrika is here in his smoke. The friendly destroyer is going to spot pretty soon. And well, Afrika is safe in his smoke and he can hopefully get a few shots at those incoming battleships. But, well, unfortunately those are pretty well angled. Now the Mutsu does have torpedoes with an okay range of 7 kilometers. The enemies are still a little bit too far out. Also you only have two torpedoes per side and the damage isn't that great and I'm afraid the smoke is disappearing now. He is in a pretty awkward spot because he is showing broadside to two battleships and with the smoke disappeared there is no reason for them not to fire at him. As you can see he has the skill and only one enemy has selected him for whatever reason so nobody is trying to shoot him currently that's always nice 
Now he is going towards those battleships. There are some torpedoes incoming towards them. The Nagato is almost down and... Well, he has some support here, so... Should work out. The Nagato is down. And he should be able to take the Bayern, especially with his team support. Now this Bayern is currently nice enough to show broadside and the turrets are fully rotated here. So he can use this opportunity to show a bit of his own broadside, get some shots in, get the torpedoes off and now he is turning back towards the Bayern. The Bayern's turrets still aren't fully rotated this way. And yeah, now when the Bayern is shooting he is already pretty well angled, so nicely done by Frieke. And this Bayern is going down. Goodbye, Bayern. Now, Freeka is here on the outskirts of the cap. I don't think he will be able to reach this point here. More concerningly, there is an Indianapolis here. And the Indianapolis is showing broadside. So, goodbye, Indianapolis. Now, because he doesn't want to run himself into ground, he is going to steer to the left which brings him outside of the cap circle i don't think he can slow down fast enough to capture this capture point and i'm not sure if reversing into it would be worth it there are quite a few ships here behind him and those ships should have no trouble taking point charlie so he is trying to uh, support the center and well this battle is looking pretty good now there is a North Carolina, an enemy. I have no idea what he is doing. He is way too far back. And well, my first thought was his AFK, but his guns are certainly pointed at something. And we see the enemy carrier. Oh, well, we saw the enemy carrier for a second there. Now me? Maybe the North Carolina crashed. I'm... He, yeah, no, he's firing his gun. So the North Carolina is here. He's just in a bit of an awkward position. He's way too far back in order to get optimal use out of his gun. And well, as a battleship, especially a top tier battleship, you never want to be so far in the back. Now meanwhile, Freak has caught some nice hits on the carrier. The carrier isn't that much of a threat. Here it takes just a long time to gather his planes and relaunch them. A carrier is a big threat over a long period of time, but short term in North Carolina is much more dangerous. But the North Carolina is also angled and hopefully he can finish up the carrier here. If the carrier manages to reload his planes and send them this way, it could be problematic since the Mutsu does not really have any meaningful anti-air. So unfortunately he didn't quite manage to fish off this ranger. Maybe the next salvo can do so. And that North Carolina is getting in a... Well, the North Carolina is starting to shoot him. And is showing broadside now. So he's going to angle against the North Carolina. And well, the North Carolina is also... Those enough maybe for torpedoes. Now those were just the seconders of the North Carolina. Freaka is turning a bit to get some torpedoes off and to fire all of his guns. This is dangerous. The Mutsu is a very fragile ship and fortunately that North Carolina maybe he is he has trouble with his connection, maybe he has lag, because those shots were not very well aimed. And there are some more torpedoes. You can see the reload on the torpedoes is pretty fast, but there is only two of them and the angle you can launch them in is rather limited. And yeah, those were some nice hits, so the guns hurt, but the North Carolina retaliated in kind. 
at this point obviously it doesn't matter that much if Freak loses this engagement it's looking pretty good for his team so he can play this a bit more risky oh, I think those torpedoes are looking good um, yeah one torpedo hit finished off the North Carolina uh, was an inbound Ive Bomber Strike, but the carrier is down by now. So only an enemy Bayern remaining. And well, Bayern doesn't stand a chance. So yeah, this, this game was just to showcase a little bit of Mutsu action, especially now since she's been buffed since the preview version, as we already knew back then. And yeah, this is some of the worst matchmaking you can find, but still, the Mutsu here prevailed. So she's an interesting ship. So the Mutsu does have her weaknesses, but the guns are certainly nice and can still work very well at tier 8. So Freaker managed to get himself 2241 base experience, and that was nicely done as a low tier ship. Now he played this rather well, he supported the cap in the beginning, he went towards the enemies, he used the smoke from some friendlies and well he also profited from enemies who didn't play all that well. But still, I found it a nice match. You can manage to get devastating strike, high caliber and confederate and he scored 185,000 points of damage. So I hope you enjoyed watching it, I hope you enjoyed seeing some Mutsu action now that she is in the shop. And I'll see you guys next time.